Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, personal virtual tour using Google Earth. So go ahead and open it up. And once it's open, you should see this main page. Um, up on the top of your page, there should be a row of tools. Click on the one that says Record a Tour. It has a little camera on it. Click on it once, and down here you should see a record button and a microphone button. This microphone button allows you to record audio as you're recording a tour, but I'm not going to, so I'll just click on the record button, and now it is recording my uh, Google Earth. So now you can just navigate as, uh, as to where you want to have the tour located at. Um, my first destination is going to be Paris, France. So I'll just zoom in here into Paris. Sorry if my computer looks a little glitchy right now. Um, it's acting up for some reason because my internet isn't working out too well right now. Um, but that shouldn't really be a big problem. Um, I think it also might be a little bit slow because I have two programs running right now. Anyway, um, so once it's recording, um, you can just navigate wherever you want to. Um, I'll just do a little aerial view of Paris. And I think I'll zoom out of that. Or you can just glide across it for a minute. Now I'm going to zoom out of Paris up onto a huge aerial view of the Earth. And I think now I'll go to New York City, so just type that in, and then it should automatically go to New York City. And by the way, this is still recording your Google Earth screen. Um, it should clear out all the blurriness in just a minute. That's usually um, what happens whenever you get close to something very quickly. It has to undo all the blurriness first. And I'll just zoom into New York real quick and let it let it clear out, let it unblur itself. It should do it in just a second. Okay. And so I brought back three buildings, so you should see bunch of 3D buildings right now. Hold on a second. And you can just navigate around New York City. Um, I'll just use these tools up here. And this is probably Manhattan because I think that is the en Empire State Building right there. And you can navigate your camera right through buildings. I'll just turn my entire thing around Whoa. and then just go back where I came from and now I think I'm just going to zoom out to stop recording just go ahead and click on the little red record button and now it should start to uh, start from the beginning of the video so here I am zooming into Paris. Once again, all this blurriness, like this glitchiness, I mean, is um, is all because of my computer. Uh, this video is is just fine. It's just my computer acting up. Trust me, it looks way better if um if you don't have multiple programs running. So um. Here I am just in Paris. And um, one quick note, even if you did turn off 3D buildings whenever you first made the tour, if you still have it checked while you're watching your video, it will show 3D buildings in your video. It's weird because that actually affects your video. I, I don't get it, but they just have it set up that way. So if you if you uncheck the 3D buildings, all these 3D buildings will disappear from your video even if you had it checked while you were recording and um, now I'm just gonna zoom out of Paris 
and I'm going to type in New York City. It doesn't show that, it just shows this Earth view. And now it is going to New York City. Zooming in. And another weird thing about it is that whenever um, it seems um, all glitchy, um, if you went to New like earlier, it had to clear itself out. That's because that was the first time we had gone to New York. But in the end result, it is very clear because it is already processed, and that also affects your video. And that's another weird thing, I think. But it's kind of convenient if you, uh, if your computer is fast now as before. And so I'm going over to Manhattan like I had before. clearing itself out I think and I'm just gonna go right through these buildings and uh, I'm gonna stop and turn around go back through the buildings stop stop eventually and then zoom out and that's pretty much where I ended my video um, once it's finished like the videos ended it'll show you this bar you can save it by clicking on the little button oh well, that's weird well, well Google Earth's having some problems right now but you can save it by giving it a name and a, des and a description and you can at least record it anyway, so I'm um, sorry I can't show you how to save it. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.